Digiscope HD comes in a box, when you open up the box you get a nice carry bag. This carry bag has an external zip where you find a screwdriver and double-sided audio cable. Now when you open the main zip, you find three chambers, central chamber holds the main digiscope unit, left chamber holds the stethoscope chest piece with 3 meter long wire, the right chamber holds the earphone. Chambers has been created keeping in mind the needs of a doctor. Doctor can make connections inside the carry bag so that he doesn't have to bring out the unit every now and then. The wires also stays at its place. Now, let us make connections. This is the main unit. Where you have to connect the digital stetho chest piece. The digital stetho chest piece is 3 meter long for distantly seated patient examination. Now, take the 3.5 millimeter jack of digital chest piece and insert into the stetho in on the front panel. On this front panel you also have the on off button. And the volume controller for controlling the sound of intrabody sounds as you listen to them. This chest piece now goes on to the patient for auscultation. Now, let us look at the back panel. It has two connectors one for computer another for earphone. This is a double sided audio cable. One end goes into the COM port of Digiscope unit. And the other end goes into the line in port of the computer or laptop, if you don't want to record. Don't make this connection. This is earphone with a good bass for better sound. Plug it into the headphone connector. This is the right way of making connections. Now, on the top panel you will find a high and low frequency filter. Lung sounds are better heard on high frequency. Heart sounds are better heard on low frequency. Make adjustments according to your needs. For charging the Digiscope unit use the 9V adapter. Plug it. Check if the red light is dim or not glowing. Insert the jack into the stetho in on the front panel. Check if the red light is lighting up. Leave it for 4 to 6 hours for charging. This will charge up the unit. After the unit is fully charged. The red light will glow up. If not, charge it for some more time. If the red light is still not glowing, unscrew the back panel with the help of the screwdriver provided to you. Buy a 9V rechargeable battery. Carefully replace the 9V chargeable battery. Place back the back panel and screw it back. Make sure you screw it tight. Otherwise it may produce a hissing sound. Enjoy high quality auscultation sound with Digiscope HD. Look for more video. Visit our website digiscope.diagnosit.com for more information. Thank you for watching.